Hello and welcome. Let's model this curved surface model in on shape. So I will start with a sketch in an empty part studio. Take the front plane, press N, normal view to that, P, hide all planes, L for the line command. Start at the origin, go to the left, um, draw one line over here, take the midpoint relationship here between those two, dimension um, that line with uh, 35, and that one here with uh, 50. All right. Um, let's make one three point arc from here till there, over there. Um, let's split um, that line somewhere here. And make that coincident with that arc as well. Now dimension that line with a 20. And um, dimension uh, that distance again with 35. That was lost because of the split operation make one line over here at a distance of 25 and now let's simplify that um, with a pressing Q and make these lines here um, construction geometry so we got we just got that arc here as a um, solid line. And that's it for that sketch. I exit. Now let's start um, modeling with the revolve surface command. Pick that arc. Take that as an um, axis and make that a symmetric revolve uh, with 180 degrees. Okay, let's have a look. That is the result. And let's continue sketching with another sketch on the front plane. And I will take that midpoint rectangle. OK. And draw one line here as well. Dimension uh, the overall height with a 38. And project that um, vertex here of our revolve and make that um, vertical with that one. Okay. Let's take that uh, split command and split that face with that line, that one, and that one. All right. Now let's um, mirror our part over the right plane, right? OK. Let's make that sketch one visible again. 
and go into the transform. Take that body. Pick the rotation option. Take that axis and apply 90 degrees. Okay. Now let's take that loft command again in the surface. New um, surface and pick that line here with a match curvature option. Give that a magnitude of 0.4 and um, in the profiles again take that line and repeat the options match curvature and 0.4 I want a new surface here all right Let's continue with a sketch on the top plane. Um, make an arc between our origin and that vertex. Press T for the tangency between those. Accept that. And now let's um, make a root surface what do we, we here right here pick that um turn that around 25 is fine okay let's continue with the next sketch and that is uh, on the front plane take that three point arc pick that point that one Drop that off, make that tangent to that line. And again, a ruled surface there, that's fine. Okay, so now we get that hole here with edges all around it and surfaces. So let's fill that hole here. I'll start here and go to tangency, pick that face, click here again, pick the next one with that tangency, click here again, take that one with that face. That one with this one. And finally, that one here. That one. And that will be a new surface. Let's go to the delete face. Take that one, that one. All right. And now let's mirror these parts over the top plane there and then mirror those four over the front plane right can hide that sketch here and go to boolean pick one part want to select all that's it um maybe you want to apply some nice color to that added appearance take that orange yellow and next thing is a sweep. Go to the front 
plane, place a circle here. Take that pierce command, that edge, that point. Dimension that with uh, four. Exit, sweep. Take that face. We can make that a solid. And for the sweep path, just let's go around our body. And, um, there. There it is. And okay. Continue with some nice color here. I'll take that blue. And um, okay, if you want to make some surface analysis, as you, as I did, as you could see on the thumbnail, you go to the show analysis tools and take the zebra stripes and there it is. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it inspiring. If so, um, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And um, until next time, happy modeling.